everybody, welcome back to Alan Wake. I'm uh, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure like we you know we just beat the boss and we're gonna. There's a big cutscene coming up, I'm pretty sure, and then the end of the chapter thing. So let's uh let's just run right in. After the insanity I had just experienced in Is the darkness, there. the lights of the gas station felt comforting. God, At least I want more moment, thermoses. The same world reasserted itself. Oh god, it's bright here. Page. Hello. Hello. What can I sh focus? The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. Wait. If the day count on the banner was right, where I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. The garage where? was a mess. It looked like someone had ah. trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Seven days. Good lord, I lost a week. Hello. Please help. I'm being chased by shadows. Let me in. Aha. Ugh. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, Ooh. there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Oh, God, no. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. That wasn't that Was crazy. Was I losing my mind? You are most definitely possibly losing your mind, sir. E. Ship number 15. Don't miss on the deer fest. We're going to eat lots of animals. Lots of them. There is phone. There is phone. I've got none ammo. Rainfall Sheriff Station. There we go. God. Really punishes you for going down those two streets. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker. You are I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not bum, since the big eruption bum. in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. It's true. I've been fighting shadows all morning. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Chorting, Mr. Mommy. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. You bet. And out goes the helicopter. It's very weird that the game runs so very well and the cutscenes just so poorly. That shadow lady tricked me. I knew there was an island here. I've seen it. In fact, that's the bridge. That, oh, no. Do you think maybe it's just a high tide or something? Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Oh, yeah, I did. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear we it. very God, nearly had it, sex before she now, uh, she's ruined Alice. my life. Alice? Fell in the water, died, then I jumped in the water, and then I was in a car. A crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. I'd say more of out of a No, straight out of a nightmare. That works. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. Three years ago. Let's get some uh, backstory in this his house. Hey honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. Oh damn, I'm good. How was it? It was really, really good. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. F you. Oh wait, I'm going in the kitchen. All right, I'll do it. Bloop. Coffee's on. I'm so damn good. Thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this 
by tomorrow. Go in this door. Arrgh! I can't go in the door. And I missed my big fluffy coat. That sucker was awesome. There's my um thing. Oop. A laundry bathroom. That's got to get complicated. Well, where is she then? That's one thick ass blanket. What's this? The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri state area. Yeah. To stay indoors, as many Goddamn wind is blowing through houses. I'd imagine so. Oh, damn, we live high up. Look at that. I was going to see if I could see the end of the world, but I couldn't. Ooh, look, a closet. I can just see all the pantyhose. Oh. We don't have any pantyhose. Woman, well, where your pantyhose be at? And we have self-closing doors. Now that is ritzy. Oh, it's another QR code. Scan it. Scan it! If you can. Yeah, that looks like you should be able to scan it. What's this sucker? Can I, um... Oh, look at all my pretty books. Oops, not that button. And I won the... the shoot golden guns award i'm the most badass writer ever oh, the pretty hey. wife i just finished those cover mock-ups they're on your desk tell me what you think what? no kidding i didn't think you'd get them done this quickly Is it this on way? occasion i can perform all sorts of miracles my dear did you lock oh, my door really well you seem to think so last night oh where they at these look really good Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The was he going to put a gun in my hand? Time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. Oh. <gasps> Alan? Alan, I'm right here. please check the fuse box. F you. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! So you really want me to check the box? Like now? Like now, now? I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. <laughs> Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. Bam. You okay? I'm sorry. I look just... right into the light, baby. It just really spooked me. Look don't right into the light. We'll just it won't spook you if you look right into the light. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not. Oh, we're gonna make love you know? again. It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. Mm. The dark really spooked me. Definitely too. looks better with the struggle really too. Bad. My mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. That's spooky. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice click, story, click. writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks yeah. for this. Bitch, we should get a divorce. Call me no liar. And then we made love. Sweet, sweet love. Yeah, we are living sky high. Back to the present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. I have Wick? erectile dysfunction, but I've had that for a while. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. You should take Thanks. it easy, old man. Stabs him back. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. Stab! If pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah Is this a live- Like- waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm this sure is gonna go bad, dude. Your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small-town doctor. 
Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, look, seriously? Talking. Look at the size of that sucker. Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that. Where's the biggest? Old fisherman like me. Where's the mouth? She's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon on the other hand... You don't even have string on your damn pole, line. man. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. And then I left the crazy old coot to his ways. And then I was allowed to run. What am I reading? Thank you for testing the light. Ooh. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury to Um. I don't know any of those weirdos. Look, a fuse box. I know what those are because my wife told Come me. Come in, Mr. Oh. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The I may or may not have barged in. It's charged now. Pick up phone. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How that doesn't did you end exist. Up at ah. gas station? I wanted to tell her what it happened. Why didn't it do that for the I whole couldn't. thing? She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Brand placement, possibly. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. What? I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. Hell. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I don't... I some fresh air. Can I go out? In the back, maybe? Of um, course, Mr. Wake. What? I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. God. I wanted... All this, it's just a lot to take in. You, of course, tell the police when this happens, but then, since this is supposed to be a, f a fun and fantastical... I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. This way. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The sure. Deputies, they won't... They won't... Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You bet I am. You're a good guy. I'm fantastic. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here. The cops. You're drunk. All wrong. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." But I see a thermos. Can't pass up no thermos. I think this is farther than I've ever been before. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just oh, one God. before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Shots? And Mulligan and Thorne had to deal with two intoxicated young men <laughs> celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks... We get this every year. Yeah, we do. Oh, look at car. No, uh, where where be this hole? Where be this hole? Um, I made it. <laughs> I am. I'm wake the badass. What's this? Oh, it's not one when I'm missing, is it? This was a late goodbye. What? Oh, that's part of episode two. No, oh, number one. God damn it! Where is it? Ah, uh, let's listen to these ones because I'm not gonna be able to get the other one now. I saw them swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. 
I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Wow. Papers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. <laughs> what a baby admitting first, to I kept screaming. The pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. How does With he know? It, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. How does he know I've been looking so feverishly for them? That's spooky. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. I wasn't that mad. I the seen the video. The lake, she asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. You, yeah, we went over that already. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Oh god, why did I write that? Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Well, that was out of uh, order. That was very kind of not in order. Um, episode 2. We have the first two and we have this one, but we don't have this one. And I have this one that I've read before? That's weird. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. That's not I'd me. I lay here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Who was that? We might this figure it out eventually. Goodbye. Again. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. Gruesome, slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. That's not me talking, though. That... The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak. The waterfall and the mountain behind us. The lights of the radio mass blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing. Force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Okay, so he's not going to appear with her. Interesting. I should actually read those as I get them. Because then, you know, you get those little bits, don't you? Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Oh. I got it. Barry? Yo! Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying what? to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm oh, here, him. here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow. Ooh. I think I can I go up here. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. 
I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice. I feel like I should put up there. Screw the game. It hates me. That is a perfect Alan Wake shaped hole, isn't it? Well, I thought he was gonna leave. Oh no, he just said to go to Lovers Whatever, didn't he? Looks like God. The light that reveals the world of his story from darkness shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Huh. Well, as interesting as that was, I'm afraid we're going to have to call this episode here. A lot of stuff happened in this one. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, tune in for the next one. See you later, bye. Bye, guys. Goodbye. Say bye, Alan. Don't look away. Alan doesn't like you guys. Click.